Eudora grew up being the target of racism and discrimination. The reason for this was because she was a light elf. Elves are usually highly regarded and are considered as an esteemed race. Well, not within the Munian lands though. A lot of the Munians still hold hostility and wariness towards the light elves. And it was mostly because of the Great War that had happened eons ago. More so, Eudora lived in a village that was near the Monastery of Light, which still practiced its outdated beliefs. And from the looks of it, those outdated practices seems to include the segregation of races. Those backward beliefs by the adults within the village were naturally projected to their children. Monkey see, monkey do, right? Because of that, Eudora was shunned and bullied by her own peers. She was often teased by the children about her long ears and her unusual elven eyes. A tough environment to grow up in as a kid. This made Eudora withdrawn and become sensitive about her looks. She thought herself as the ugly kid who was reviled by everyone. The only comfort she had came from a silver song flower, who she considered as a friend. That was how lonely Eudora was, making a friend out of a plant. She would share all her problems to this little flower and sometimes even some of the small happiness that she could find within the village. She would sit beside it for hours and hours, feeling her need for companionship from a plant. However, this single comfort of Eudora was destroyed. A group of cruel children that often bullied Eudora had saw her talking to the flower. The hateful kids then destroyed the plants while Eudora was away. Eudora, seeing what had happened, was enraged. All the years of bullying and abuse that she received from the village flashed into her mind. All the negative emotions she had felt all throughout her life bursted out of her body in the form of a raging lightning. A huge explosion went off in the village, almost flattening the surrounding houses around Eudora. This was the awakening of Eudora's latent magic power. But because of this incident, her family had to leave the village and find a new home. Now you will think Eudora would finally have a better life, right? Awakened powers and all. But the incident just made Eudora more miserable. Eudora was traumatized at what had happened. On top of her previous problems, she now had to worry about her new terrifying power that she couldn't control. Whenever someone would insult her based on her appearance, the self-conscious Eudora would lose control of her power and again trigger off lightning explosions around her. She was further shunned and discriminated by the people around her. This incident happened a lot, forcing Eudora and her family to keep moving around to find a different home. After a lot of moving around, the family came to the Northern Munian, a place where they would finally settle in and where Eudora's life would eventually change for the better. You see, there was a great magic academy called the Ulturia School within the Northern Munian. And one of its great teachers, named Teresa, had discovered Eudora's potential in magic. Teresa then offered Eudora an invitation to enroll within the Ulturia School. So just like Harry Potter, Eudora went to the Academy of Magic to learn the arcane arts and lived within the school dorms during her studies. Eudora thrived under the teachings of Teresa who turned out to be the head of the academy itself. Eudora learned all sorts of powerful arcane magic within the school, and as years and years passed by, the young student had become a master herself. Yet, Eudora became an instructor within the Ulturia school. And not just a regular instructor, she was considered as one of the most outstanding teachers within the academy. Which is saying a lot since the Ulturia school was brimming with talented individuals. Everyone respected Eudora because of her powers. However, despite all this, Eudora still had issues about her looks and race. She grew her hair long in order to hide her elven ears. Despite her newfound confidence, she was still traumatized at what had happened during her childhood. The discrimination and hate towards her race still lingered within her heart. The day came where Teresa had to retire as the head of the Magic Academy. She announced to the public that Eudora would be the one to take her position. 
Everyone, including Eudora, was surprised. Although Eudora was greatly respected within the school, there was never in the history of the academy that an elf had become the headmaster. Many believed that it was a betrayal of the school's belief and of the great prophet. The announcement had become a huge controversy. Still, the day of the handover ceremony came. Despite some rumblings, it was decided that Eudora would still receive the position. In the middle of the ceremony, there were some jeers from the crowd. Some of the people were still dissatisfied with the academy's decision. Eudora, hearing their hurtful words from the stage, sunk back. All the painful memories from her childhood crept back onto her once again. All the confidence she had built through all these years were crumbling. Her heart was in turmoil as she saw the faces of the crowd, filled with malcontent and even hate towards her. And then she snapped. Lightning danced throughout the ceremony halls, exploding one after another, destroying everything it touched as it crackled through the air. The crowd watched with terror and astonishment. Such raw and immense mana were all coming from but a single person, and with that, the ceremony had ended. After the incident, Eudora decided to relinquish her appointed role. She didn't want to be the head of the Ulturia school anymore, and all she wanted was to find a new home. Somewhere she can live peacefully, free from all the hate and discrimination. But before she could leave the school, Teresa came to her. Teresa gave Eudora a magical mirror. And because of this mirror, everything became okay. Eudora's trauma and pain went away. Everyone loved her and accepted her, and she lived happily ever after. The end. Well, maybe not, but that's basically what had happened. You see, the magical mirror that Teresa gave Eudora was a true sight mirror. It enables the person looking at it to see their true self. Eudora stood in front of the mirror for a day and a night, basically working out her inner turmoils as she stares at her true self. After some magical, soul-searching moments, she learned how to accept herself, her true self, which is a proud, confident, beautiful, pointy-eared elf. Batteries included. Anyway, after that, she went to a hair salon and got her hair cut short, since she no longer felt the need to hide her pointy ears, which is a symbol of their proud race. Probably explains the revamp Eudora got, back when she still had her long hair. Anyways, that's it guys. The end. For real this time.